they are dead. Little is known of the wild cats who call Sussex home. Their existence is shrouded in myth and speculation, their ability to keep concealed a major factor in this belief. There are, on average, 250 sightings per year of big cats in Sussex alone, usually only fleeting glances. With so much woodland and undergrowth, who knows where they are hiding? My name's Carol Robertson, and I'm a teaching assistant at Balcombe Primary School in Sussex, and on Monday the 13th of October I saw it. I was standing in the playground with the children, and it was break time. The playground is quite a distance from the school field. So what made me actually go and look was this noise. I watched it for about 30 seconds before it ran off. And it was like, well, kind of like a ginger tom, but three times the size. Now that growling noise was horrendous. And that's how I know that it wasn't a domestic cat. I think the incident has worried some of the children's parents. I think they feel more insecure about their safety and you've got to ask, what if the cat had attacked a child? Um, and even me, I mean, I, I feel a bit less secure about walking around in the countryside on my own now. Pepe van der Kamp, a wildcat expert, began his studies in his native country, Holland, and moved to Britain 11 years ago to found Kent Big Cat Research. He has been tracking, monitoring, and collating evidence of wildcats in Kent and Sussex since then, and has been in this field of study for more than 17 years. What cats are there in the wild? Um, well, so far we've, we've spotted uh, cougars, leopards, uh, pumas and lynx. But they're very uh, uh, elusive uh, animals, so, well, they're experts in hit hitting, so we're not sure if they're more uh, species, but for sure th those four, yeah. You've recently written an article. What was the public's response to it? Well, response, uh, the, the article was on my... Uh, website calling uh, uh, Mystery Cats in Sussex and there were, there, there were numerous uh, response. Um, well, basically people are either uh, uh, very skeptic or very um, afraid. Let's say the truth is somewhere in the middle. What's the response of the police to big cat sightings? Uh, <laughs> I must say um, I'm a bit skeptic and a bit, I think it's a bit, a, bit, a bit funny. What happens when a report come, uh, comes in, they will jump in their car, they drive outside into the countryside and take the monoculars, wait, and, and after 10 minutes they, they drive back and say it was false alarm. But you have to be aware that those, those cats, they cover 70 uh, square miles of, of um, area, so the chance that they, they see a cat on those, in those 10 minutes is, is slim. So. I don't think they're taking it uh, serious. Maybe they should see one in, uh, in, uh, in the world themselves, for real, because then they know they're out there, yeah. We contacted the police with regards to wildcats. They declined an interview, but a Sussex police spokesperson sent us this statement. There have been numerous reports of big cat sightings in the local media over many years, but to my knowledge, none have ever been substantiated. in the wild? Uh, hard to say, at least a few hundreds, uh, but ob obviously they're multiplying. For example, 50 years ago there were only a few, so well, if this continues, uh, well, it's just do the math, uh, in, in, in 10 years time it, it will be uh, uh, definitely many more, so there is a problem uh, out there. So does this concern you? I think people in the, in the countryside should be. And, and I have to be honest, I'm uh, myself as well. The problem is uh, housing development. More and more woodland is being chopped down. Uh, and well, since the area is getting uh, smaller and smaller, there, there are many more reports of cats in villages. And well, if they come to that close, that close to the public, uh, it's definitely a concern. Yeah. So are these cats a danger to the public? Um, well, so far in the UK, the attacks on humans are, are quite limited. Uh, but for example, in the, in the US, there are many cases of joggers uh, or people that just go for a walk being attacked by especially uh, cougars and pumas, a species we have here as well. So well, I, won't, I won't rule it out for the future. I would say uh, let's, let's, let's uh, be aware. With the police taking such little interest in big cat sightings and the public's sceptical views, it seems that the Sussex big cat shall continue in their lonely existence, for now. <laughs>